Hello everyone. This week I was reading an article about the BBC breakfast presenter Dan Walker and this the last few weeks he's been involved in Strictly Come Dancing and on the show this last week uh, it was a Halloween special and all the contestants were supposed to take part in a spooky themed dance segment and he chose to uh, do a dance along to the song Rock Lobster dressed as a lobster with his partner also and when he was asked about this he said we don't sell, uh, celebrate Halloween in our house <clears throat> and I've got to say a huge thank you to Strictly because they enabled me to be part of that program without sort of doing Halloween. Walker went on to explain that he wanted to set a good example for uh, his children by living by the standards he teaches them. And he goes on, and our kids, they would normally go to a light party on Halloween weekend and I couldn't go on that program and be a disingenuous dad. I can't say to my kids, do as I do, do as I say, but not as I do. So that's where the lobsters came from. Now, in the past, he's taken much criticism for his state stance on creationism over evolution, for his um, uh, choosing not to work on a Sunday uh, and standing up for his beliefs. For me, this draws out my admiration. Sometimes I felt disappointment when I've heard of famous believers uh, when their behaviour or their choices don't quite match uh, what you'd expect from a Christian. We all love to hear about somebody who's standing against the tide of what this world tries to squeeze us all into. And it can be something as seemingly trivial as refusing to go along with a uh, Halloween celebration. But as Christians, there's something that warms our hearts, helps us feel strengthened, that yes, there still are genuine believers out there, people who live differently than this culture dictates. They walk the walk, not just talk the talk. As believers, we are called to be different in this world, to stand out from the crowd. And this is not easy. I don't claim to be great at this myself, Many, many times I've remembered conversations I've had with people and afterwards I've wished I'd had spoken up or I wished I'd, in that moment, uh, taken the opportunity to be different. But thankfully, God is patient and with me, he needs to be. <laughs> Living in the world takes courage. 1 Peter 3 says that we should always be prepared to give an answer for the hope that we have in us. And this is not easy. It does take us having to get some pre uh, preparation behind us, get some knowledge behind us. And it's not just knowing our Bible, but there are issues going on in life, issues that are in the media all the time. And it's really helpful that when they come up that we are just not silent or shrinking into the background. What would you say if somebody asked your views on things like gender dysphoria, LGBT issues, same-sex marriage, abortion, militant Islam? And there can be just basic issues about uh, heaven and hell, um, peace in this life. All of these things is helpful if we can have an answer, that we can be prepared. And there are lots of materials out there. I have really uh, found little YouTube clips from an organisation called One Minute Apologist. If you go on YouTube and just put in that on the search, One Minute Apologist, it gives little short three, five minute videos that answer difficult questions. Proverbs 3, 5 and 6 says this, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your paths straight. So for us as Christians, people need to know that we submit to God. He's our higher power and he's the one who, in control of our lives. And that is something that 
is incredibly encouraging to people who don't feel in control of their lives. Ephesians 5, 15 to 18 is a great reminder of how we should live. And I just want to read that from the Amplified Bible. Therefore, see that you walk carefully, living with honour, purpose and courage, shunning those who tolerate and enable evil, not as the unwise, but as wise, sensible, intelligent, discerning people. Making the very most of your time on earth, recognising and taking advantage of each opportunity and using it with wisdom and diligence. Because the days are filled with evil. Therefore, do not be foolish and thoughtless, but understand and firmly grasp what the will of the Lord is. Have a fantastic day.